Welcome aboard the USS Estes. As you may or may not know, the Estes here is the command ship of Joint Task Force 132. We have minutes to go before the first blast, Mike shot, of Operation Ivy. Um, 59 minutes now, to be exact. We've been here since daybreak. Left Weetark last night during the early morning hours. Now, as you can imagine, feeling is running pretty high about now, and there's reason for it. If everything goes according to plan, we'll soon see the largest explosion ever set off on the face of the Earth. The test islands for Mike are located at the top, or the northern sector, of any Weetok atoll. Some 25 miles from Perry and any Weetok, the two base islands of this atoll proving ground. Three islands making up the test site were linked together by causeways. These connecting roads were built to make it easy to get from island to island and to act as land platforms for some of the instrumentation. Situated on the zero island was the cab, or building, which housed the device. The mic device was known as a wet bomb because it used liquid hydrogen isotopes to create the thermonuclear reaction. This made the device very large, weighing some 62 tons, and impractical to use as a deliverable weapon. A plywood tube ran from the Zero Island across the causeways to a detection station on the farthest island, a distance of nearly two miles. This tube was filled with helium, allowing lethal radioactive rays faster travel to the detection station before the island was consumed by the fireball. You have a grandstand seat here to one of the most momentous events in the history of science. In less than a minute, you will see the most powerful explosion ever witnessed by human eyes. The blast will come out of the horizon just about there. And this is the significance of the moment. This is the first full-scale test of a hydrogen device. If the reaction goes, we're in the thermonuclear era. For the sake of all of us, and for the sake of our country, I know that you join me in wishing this expedition well. It is now 30 seconds to zero time. Put on goggles or turn away. Do not remove goggles or face first until 10 seconds after the first light. Nothing there but water, and water 